morning. Are you hungry? You seem a little hungry. And wet and gross. Okay. Come on. Okay. Yeah, let's get it in a dry spot. Look at this little, look at this one. Everybody share and play nice. Okay. Oh. Excuse me. Did you hear the food? Ooh. I'm telling. I'm telling Nanny on you. Okay, when you're done, you can come out in the playpen today. Get you some fresh grass since everything's all muddy and gross. You guys don't belong here. Go home. <laughs> They're stuck. You can tell that this is much drier than that over there because of the tarp. They do have some dry spots. Got a really big eggplant over there. Need to pick those. Everything is just so wet. All right, you guys can come out and play. Come out and play in a little bit. Sorry. Give you a little bit more because it was wet. Want a little bit more? Here. Do you want some? You want some here? Come here. Look. Mm hmm. Come on. Look. I'll give you some right here. There you go. I'll share. I'll be nice. I'll be a nice neighbor. Mm hmm. Kim does share her eggs with me, so. Because somebody doesn't want to lay any eggs over here. So I can I can pay I can pay back some some feed. Here. Here you go. Look. Here. Come eat it. Getting close, guys. We have now entered December officially. So we are two, two weeks until this looks completely different. Oh, I'm so excited. I need to take some loofahs off the line today because I need to dry them out in the oven because it's been so rainy. Can't They cannot dry out here. So I'm gonna take some loofahs <clears throat> Off this line here. Bring them in. They're so soft when they're wet, and then they're really hard when they're dry. Where'd Luna go? Luna! Oh, she's back there. Oh my. Got some giant jalapenos over there I need to pick. <clears throat> Get some loofahs down. I need to make some more soap with loofahs. That's a big, 
that's a big that's a big one. People really want. Um, I've, I've noticed that uh, a lot of you guys like the soaps with the loofahs inside. I do too. It's like my favorite version of soap. So I, I get it. Um, they're just harder to make. So takes a little bit longer to cure and all that kind of stuff, but we're gonna make some today. So I'm excited about that. I'm gonna get these inside and I'm gonna put them in the oven on just a warm temperature. Like I'm gonna turn my oven on warm and just let that warm air not bake them necessarily, but just dry them out. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Oh look, got a little chicken friend. Hello chicken friend. Alright, I'm gonna go inside. Kenga, what do you think about that barn? Two weeks. Luna, come on Luna, let's go. Let's go Luns. Come on Luna. Kenga. <laughs> Kenga. <laughs> let's go Kenga, come on. Kanga's like, get me off of this wet grass. I know it's been a little bit <laughs> since I've caught, caught up with you guys. Um, let me make some coffee and sit down and chat with you about some stuff I've got behind me to talk about. It's exciting. Um, and just give you a general breakdown of where I've been and what I've been doing and all of that. So it's morning time. I just dropped off the kids to school. I'm in my sweats, I'm comfy. I am not going to the gym this morning. Um, uh, I went all this week, however, today I needed to just like come back home and get to work. My mom and my grandpa are coming by. My mom has been like, I don't even know guys, like a godsend. Well, I've had a lot of angels in my life lately. Like my mother, She's just swooped in and said, what can I do? She's bringing me lunch. Like, she knows that I'm super busy um, with a lot of things. Uh, not just the Etsy store, but real estate and uh, life. So she's bringing me lunch. She's bringing my sweet grandpa with her. So I get to visit with him for a little bit. Um, speaking of real estate, I got this amazing reminder. <laughs> An amazing email reminder today and people who are in like you know medical fields and things like this like education maybe I, I don't know there's plenty of fields that do this but you need continuing education hours before you can renew your license <clears throat> yeah I got a friendly reminder that I have 90 days to complete my continuing education for my license so have to take those classes again to remind me not to be racist. I swear. It's like, obviously I'm not, but it's the same. Like, the laws have not changed since 1964. I, you know, you know, it's like they try to put a new spin on it, and I get it. Like, there are going to be some new changes that happen, some new contract forms that are, you know, added in because someone got sued for something, and I get that. But like, I've been doing this a long time, like a long time. And some of those things I'm just like, okay, let's do this. <laughs> it's like when you get a ticket, a speeding ticket and you take defensive driving, it's like, what do you do when you come to a red light and you need to take a right? It's like, oh my God, okay. Rant over. Continuing education is a good thing, guys. I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying <sighs> the timing is not great. Um, but let me tell you what I am excited about. <laughs> okay. If you've been watching our every Sunday night lives, Sunday, 6 p.m. Central, Buddy and I go live, and we talk about everything that's been going on in the week, which has been, like, my one time to kind of just, like, refocus, sit down with you guys, connect with you more, because... Lately, I have not been able to do what I normally been doing, which is like a little bit of this and a little bit of that and some gardening and some cooking and baking and 
man, I've had to put all that on hold and sprinkle in some stuff here and there. Like Thanksgiving, I was able to bake and stuff. However, a company reached out to Buddy and I, and I know how you guys feel about those kind of things. However, Buddy and I talked about it, and, and we mentioned it on our live that we really going forward... I mean, I know there's going to be some circumstances where this is not going to be possible, but we're going to shoot our shot and see what they say when a collaboration company wants us to collaborate with them and feature their product or try out their product. We really want to do Bill and Tan set the bar where they have now allowed us to raffle off four of their um, smart bird feeders and give it back to our our people, uh, you guys, like our online family, our online community. And I really love that. Um, I, so a company reached out and said, hey, would you like to test out our product? And I was like, yes, however, can we get one for our online family too, to try? And they said, absolutely. So they have sent us two of these, one for us and one for you. And it is a mead making kit. So you guys know that we've made our own mead with our honey and our supplies. Well, they have sent us a whole kit. It's not that big, but let me read you what's inside of it. One gallon glass carboy, an airlock stopper, a racking and racking cane and tubing. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeast, nutrition, and sanitizer a funnel, a guide to making mead. And yeah, I guess it's just everything you need to make mead. It says experience required, none. It yields one gallon of mead. It gives an um, estimated alcohol by volume of 11 to 12%. And it's ready to drink in one month, guys. Nectar of the gods, it says, with the whole... I mean, their box is pretty cool. And it, the company's called Craft A Brew. Make your own honey wine. I'm pretty excited to try this out. Um, and to give one back to you guys. I'm not doing that today. We're probably gonna do it over the weekend. But I just wanna give you a little bit of a heads up of like, you know, we had talked about, we had talked about that and I thought it was pretty, pretty awesome that, you know, the this company is willing to also give back to our community, our online community. So shout out to those companies that are willing to let us try it and let you try it too. So I love that. Yeah, so that's what's coming up. I want to give you a little sneak peek on that. Um, it's been a really dreary, rainy, kind of messy, muddy around here lately. Um, I think it's like messing with my, you know, you know how that does, like, drainage and like, uh, you just, uh, I feel fine. It's just that I'm, mm, you know, guys, I met with my friend, Megan, me and my friend Megan have been friends for 14 years now. And I met with her for lunch. I love Megan to death because do you have a friend that like you could go months and months and months without seeing in person, but when you see them, it's like you never skip a beat and you can pick up and just You've got that chemistry and that history, and that's Megan. Like, I love her to death. She's like a sister. I was gonna say a sister, I never have, but I have a sister. Um, she's like a sister to me. Anyway, she got, she brought, she surprised me with a Christmas present, probably because she knew that she wasn't gonna see me. Um, but it's something that I've been wanting for a really long time. Um, and I was like, what is this? And it came in this little box. But, guys, check it out. Look at this thing. Actually, I should try this out on the loofahs. So, saw this online. And it's a finger thing. You put it on your thumb, and the tip of it has a really sharp blade. And then you take another finger thingy, <laughs> and you just, instead of like, scissors or anything else like you just put one of these little protective little 
things on your finger so you don't cut your finger. This would have really come in handy for like green beans. But you just go through and you cut your vegetable off the stem with this cutter. Isn't that neat? So you just go in like a pepper, like a pepper plate, you go. Yeah. I've been wanting this for a while. I don't even know what it's called. Gardening thumb something vegetable. It's cut off. I don't know. She bought it for me. Two thumbs up. Actually, I think there is another one in here. Yeah, there is. Ooh, this one has a different shape to it. Let's look at that one. Oh, there's another one. And another one. Wow, there's a ton of them. I thought these were just the protector things, but these are actually... This one is like um, straight down, I guess, for different types of vegetables. Different types of plants. But look. Y'all see that? It's like I'm Edward Scissorhands, y'all remember that? This one's kind of got like an angle to it. I guess you could just figure out which plant, which plant needs, yeah, these are sharp. Yeah, don't, don't use it without the little protective sleeve. Should we go out and try it right now? Kind of want to. Hmm. Yeah, let's go do that. I really want to do this. I really want to try it out. I'll bring both of these just in case. I want to see which, which one's better. Let's go cut some jalapenos. Eh, who needs to do some work? Let's just go cut some jalapenos. All right, let me put on my finger protection because this doesn't allow the blade to go through it. Um... these are for. They're just like extra finger things. Maybe so it doesn't slip? I don't know. Let's go outside. This has turned out to be a real good day. Right? Okay. I'll tell you one thing. Don't let your kids have this. I can only imagine my kids chasing after one another. Now, this is not the season for jalapenos, so they're not going to look the greatest. We do have some left on the, the plant, so we can just try try out our finger snippers. So, you just take it like this and place your thumb on it. Nice. That was easy. Now there's some like leaves in the way. But you just, I mean, some of these you could just pull right off, right? But like, if you don't want it, some, some plants like you damage the, they're on there so good that you don't want to, uh, you know, pull the whole plant with it. Like the green beans, man, these would have come in handy with green beans. That's pretty neat. Thanks, Megan. I see you over there. Cool.